Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog Volleyball. And with us, head coach Tia Branda Wilhelm. Coach, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Bulldogs continue to roll along. Uh, two more victories this past weekend against two very good opponents in, in Finley and Hillsdale uh, atop yeah. the Glee XL. Yeah, Finley was first in the South and Hillsdale was second. And two really good teams, really, really strong offenses coming at us. So it was, it was great to get those wins. Before we get to some of the highlights, talk about uh, playing back at home uh, this past weekend. Uh, you've won 20 straight home matches going back over Have the we? last uh, year <laughs> or two. Go. And uh, it has certainly been a dominant team at home. I didn't know that, but that's nice to know. We just we love playing at home. We have such a great crowd. We have so many people from the community, you know, other student athletes that are at the games. It's just such great support, and you know, we love playing at home for sure. As we go to the highlights, uh, we'll start with Friday's match against uh, the University of Finley. They came in leading the Gleeck South. Uh, you led the Gleeck North, but able to pull out a three to nothing win. Yeah, we. Uh, I was really pleased with the defensive effort. You know, I thought our players worked really hard. They have very strong offense. Really good outside hitter there. A um, couple of good outside hitters, and I thought our players did a really nice job of working their game plan and making adjustments as the night went on. Led in this match by uh, Megan Vandermeer with uh, 16 kills. She had an exceptional match for you. Yes, yeah, she did. She uh, was able to find there were a lot of holes, uh, just a variety, and the holes kept changing through the night, and she was just kept being able to put it in the right spot. And you saw Stephanie Sikorsky uh, with the block, and then uh, you get another point here. Uh, Stephanie Sikorsky last week, the National Player of the Week, and, yeah. and honored uh, prior to this match. Uh, just, just talk about her achievements. You know, it's, it was a good week for her. Definitely got a lot of uh, recognition for the work that she's been doing the last two and a half years. So um, Stephanie has worked really hard, especially over the last year, to really improve her game and to make her team better. And, you know, it was just nice to get some of that recognition out there for her. So she was... Uh, National Player of the Week, and then she reached her 3,000 assist level, which is kind of a nice accomplishment for a setter. And she's still so young, so that's pretty exciting. See a kill uh, here from Megan Vandermeer, but certainly uh, not the only player that played well. Uh, your your entire yeah. lineup, top to bottom, seems like they're they're playing well. Um, sometimes we are, yeah. You know, we keep working on. We definitely have some things that we still want to keep working on and adding to. And it's just nice to see a couple of the things that we've been working on in practice. You know, come forward a little bit in in our games, and we certainly have a lot more that we're working on and we're trying to get better at. But little by little, some of those things are starting to come into our game. You get the three to nothing victory. Uh, you mentioned Stephanie Sikorsky, three thousand career assists. So, yeah. w what does that accomplishment mean? Oh, it's just great for her. I mean, she's and the thing is, is you gotta love it when a kid like that has accomplishments because she works really hard for every one of those. You know, she she's in the gym extra and she's you know, constantly working to try to be better in what she's doing with her technique and tactics, just understanding how to set the game better. So, And she's come so far in the last year. It's just been really neat to watch. After the win over uh, Finley, uh, you come back on Saturday, another good opponent, a traditional uh, team that is always tough to play in Hillsdale yeah. and able to pull out another win. Yeah, and Hillsdale and Finley are both in the, in the getting votes area, so they're in that 25 to 35 range nationally. So they're both really good teams. And uh, Finley, again, has, or I'm sorry, Hillsdale has just a really potent offense. They're really strong at their net play. So we were definitely working hard to try to get our hitters isolated a little bit more against their block and um, just having to switch up our defense a lot as we went through the night um, to try to stop some of their hitters. Their middles are both really, really strong players. So we mentioned uh, Megan Vandermeer had the big match against Finley, but uh, in this match it was it was Lexi Honey that yeah, led you. Yeah, she was great. She just, uh, you know, she worked really hard at blocking defense, serving, um, but attacking there you can see she just, uh, you know, really had some, some great moments attacking. She was able to... Um, you know, just use a wide variety of things. So as they adapted their defense, she was able to make little changes and and what she did offensively, or yeah, offensively. You see here, she'll do just that little roll shot to the side, and she had beaten them in the center of the court, and they were overplaying that, and then she went to the outside. So just just a great match for her. So much uh, attention placed, obviously, on your yeah. hitters, but uh, talk about some of your players in the back row and, and, and how they've helped you as a team. Well, I'll tell you, I think that was the key this weekend is the play of our defenders, you know, that they just they kept the ball alive. And there are a lot of times where you know, we maybe have missed a blocking assignment and the defenders just stepped in there and made digs. And, you know, you see all of the players in the back doing that, which is really nice. And I'll tell you another thing is we have a great scout team in practice. And they work really hard to prepare the team as we go into each match. And, you know, we, we wouldn't be the same without that team. Jenna Way leads that team setting-wise, and uh, we would not be as prepared and, and not be the same team without the work that they do, too. 
After the two wins this weekend, 22-1 and one overall, 11-0 and in the GLIAC, could, could you have imagined a better start here uh, for the Bulldogs? You know what? I don't even think about that. I don't know that our players do. We're just always – I didn't even know our record until you said that. But um, we're just always – it, always trying to think about the next game and just really worrying about that and taking care of that game or that practice, whatever's next for us, and just trying to get a little bit better and then move on to the next one. We just, you know, we're very committed as a program to not think about, you know, the record or where you want to be. You just think about where you are right now and doing the best that you can there. This next uh, game coming up, uh, next match for the Bulldogs, uh, you travel to Michigan's Upper Peninsula, yeah. Michigan Tech, Northern Michigan, two very good opponents. Uh, how tough will it be to travel up there and pull out a couple wins? Well, you know, it's been two years since we've been up there, which is unusual for us, but uh, it's it's always tough to go up there and play, for sure. And Michigan Tech has a just potent offense. You know, they're I think they're fourth or fifth in the conference right now, which is great for them. They, you know, they're more along the middle of the conference and they've moved into the top part of the conference this year. Um, they have almost everybody back from last year, which is, it says a lot for them. And their offense is really strong. So it will definitely be a defensive night for us. Not only do you have uh, Michigan Tech, Northern Michigan, then an early uh, week matchup against Grand Valley State yeah. and uh, another uh, tough stretch here uh, in the middle of the season. Yep, another quick turnaround and lots of matches and short amount of time. So we just try to keep it all in perspective and just focus on that next match. Just three weeks left here in the regular season. Kind of, kind of amazing how fast the, the season has flown by so it far. It sure does. It is amazing. It's the end of October here, and, and I can't believe it. What have you seen uh, maybe as the biggest areas uh, in which you've improved as a team uh, from, from that opening weekend uh, when you hosted your own invitation oh. to, to where you are right now? Recently went back and looked at some of those matches, so there's a lot that we've improved on. You know, I think in, uh, really in, a, in all aspects of the game, We've definitely improved in, you know, definitely improved in our passing and our defense. Our attacking has come a long way. Um, we still have lots of work that we want to do in both of those areas. Um, we have a huge list that we work off of every day for practice. But, yeah, I would say probably the best thing is just, you know, the players taking care of each other on the court and, you know, making sure that they, you know, handle themselves whether we have success or failure in the play ahead of it. I know we uh, talked with football with Coach Anise, uh, kind of the stage of the year now where the first regional rankings are going to start coming out. Uh, talk about the region, uh, how difficult it is, and, and where maybe you expect the Bulldogs to, to be in that regional mix. You know, um, we should be definitely be in that mix and probably near, you know, in the top couple teams. Um, committee does all that work, so you just got to trust that they, you know, they look at all the aspects and do it well. Um, for us, it's just about we just have to take care of our, what we can control. We can't really control the committee. We can't control where we're ranked. We can just control the games that we play. And so we really just try to stay focused on that. And, you know, we obviously hope to be there. And, you know, we hope to be in that postseason. But it, we can't get there by thinking about it. We have to get there by taking care of this next game. Well, Coach, congratulations again on the, the two wins this weekend. Best of luck as you travel to the Upper Peninsula. Thank you. That's going to do it for another episode of Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the information and all the action online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.